Can fix Zebra, it's Jane. So today I thought that we could make some sensory edible mud because I know some of you really do like your messy play. So you will need some flour, which I'm going to put into my bowl. Now to give it that nice mud looking colour, I've got one of these um, chocolate mocha sachets. I couldn't find my drinking chocolate this morning, but if you have some, you could use that. So I'm going to sprinkle that on top of the flour. And then you will need some water. I'm going to start pouring my water in the bowl and give it a good mix. So it should come out like a cake sort of consistency. Oh, I think I'm going to have to add a bit more water. It's quite thick. I'm going to add a little bit more water. And then I'm going to give it a really good stir. Mmm, I can really smell the chocolate and the coffee. You could if you wanted to, if you've got any flavourings, you could also add in some other flavourings. Keep mixing it round. I'm going to add some more water. Just a little bit more because otherwise we don't, well you might like it runny, you can have it runny if you want it. Just going to add a bit more water. Keep stirring it. Give it a good stir. Mmm, you can really smell the coffee and chocolate in there. See the mud? You see it falling off the spoon. Now I've got one of these trial trays with some sprinkles in, and I'm going to tip my mud in there. Give it a shake around. So my mud's on top of the sprinkles and this makes it fully edible. So if you do like to explore with your mouth, that's fine. You could also use some farm animals or some diggers. Um, or you might want to get some little containers and make some mud pies or you might want to put containers in and watch it fall. Bye!